I'm Adam Juniper and I write about drones. Now, one of the great things about writing about drones is you get to review all the latest drones, or some of the latest drones. One of the rubbish things is you have to give them back after a few days. But while I've got it, let's have a quick look at the new Arup Anafi. I'm just going to unbox this and then we'll have a little go with it in a minute. a small box for a small 4k folding drone. It's a very nice feel to it. Softly lift the top off once we've cut the little plastic. Little protectors in the case. No actual drone inside though. A controller spare propellers in a box and another case. They like to build the tension obviously. We'll put both of those to one side for now. I've got to say this feels really nice. It's a real fabric on the outside of some sort of firm but not too firm case. There is the Anafi. That is super light, 310 grams. Very, very lightweight, slightly translucent props. The legs pop open. Now, a nice touch, they're all on the same level. I can open one leg, whichever order I feel like doing it in. There's no underneath, no... It doesn't feel like a Rubik's puzzle. And then, and this is a first for Parrot, a two-axis gimbal. A lens cap, just a tiny little piece of plastic, just drops off. You can see 21 megapixel lens, 4K HDR video, very nice. Underneath, we can see a fan, and then we can see, I assume, an optical sensor and a sonic sensor. Um, Parrot have always used these. Um, to echolocate the ground as they get close for a gentle landing. The fan, I'm guessing, has more to do with the processing. Right at the back, there's a USB-C. That's how you charge the battery. And actually, this bulk, the bulk of the fuselage is the battery. It's gone now. Underneath the battery, there's the Wi-Fi key on a little sticker and a removable 16 gigabyte memory card, uh, such as you might find in a mobile phone. The battery is a smart battery, four lights indicating the charge. I've just charged this, so. Underneath it in the case, there's a USB to USB-C cable, which you can use to charge the uh, drone. There's no socket or anything like that. That's um, that's on you. If you don't have a USB connector or a USB charging device, you are probably unique on on the face of the earth. You can see the case design provides the padding to protect the gimbal when you're in transit. So you're going to need this case to travel with, um, but that's going to fit no problem in the back of your bag. The only problem, nowhere to put your controller. Just left the controller out of the box. This, this feels heavier. This is heavier than the drone itself. Feels nice and chunky. Quite a clean design compared to some. And then this just flips up sprung to 
clip your phone into. Um, there's USB-C, which I've used to charge it, and a USB, old school, um, which you can then run into the back of your phone uh, for the display. On the back of the controller, rather sweetly, there's a little picture showing you putting your phone into the sprung clip in case you can't work that out. On the back, we've got a gimbal tilt, up and down lever, lever, sorry, um, and a gimbal center, which will bring it back, back to the level. On this side, we have a, a photography button, so start, stop recording, or um, take a still, depending on the mode you're in. And a zoom control, which is pretty unique at this point. Sadly for me at least, I have to go and give the Anafi back. Perhaps I'll buy one.